three, two, one. Boosh. Oh my God, that's calm. Yep. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to You Bet Your Radio <laughs> podcast, the coldest podcast in all the Midwest, presented by Ice Mountain. I'm Oz, You Bet Your Guy, here with T shirt Guy, and we are back and we are live. No, we're not. And we are in the Troy Escalade Podcast Memorial <laughs> Podcast Studio. Last Monday of the week, make it a good hey. one. Um, it's Wednesday or Wednesday, <laughs> but. I, this, this is the last weekend was a big weekend for me. Oh, wow. um, Anne had her bachelorette party this last weekend. Mm-hmm. So I rolled stag all weekend long. Dead woman oh, yeah. walking. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the Super Bowl also. But um, <laughs> more importantly, Anne had her bachelorette party. And I, well, first of all, <laughs> First of all, <laughs> she invited 18 people to her bachelorette party. It's a lot. And 17 of them were able to go. It's a lot Ooh. of females in one spot. It's a lot of wooing. Uh, a lot that's of wooing, an estrogen. A lot of, oh my God. A lot of pin the dick on the miles. Yeah, a lot they of, did that. A lot of Snapchatting. I don't even know 18 people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, you know seven and there's four in this room. No. <laughs> um so that was unbelievable and then before before the bachelorette party they're like trying to like you know get reservations places and she's like ah, that place that said that they wouldn't do a reservation for 17 people like, <laughs> no shit. yeah because how you need 20 tables lined up <laughs> basically yeah it's basically like every restaurant has like an open section right with tables on yeah, yeah. i mean that's the entire open it's, section. Yeah, yeah. it's like hey Ma'am, uh, if you want a, if you want a table for seventeen, you can just rent out the whole restaurant. <laughs> yeah, go to a legion hall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I don't I don't know how she has that many friends. Um, I think I invited ten on mine. It's a great number. Yeah, That's what I had in mind. About yep. eight or nine are coming. So yep. Because you always gotta assume that it's like what. Uh, a fifth of the invites will go respond, cannot go. Yeah, wedding invites, like, it's like 80%. Yeah, I'm talking actually, even like any situation, a fifth of the gotcha. people are invited are not going to be able to go. I think our wedding, though, is it's much higher than that. That can't go? That can go. Oh, so like only an eighth? Yeah, so you, yeah. Uh, carry the one. <laughs> six, one sixteenth. That's so, I don't good. know. It seems like it's like no one's saying no. And I think it's they're assuming that there's going to be free beer at my <laughs> wedding. So <laughs> can I really blame them? I don't know. Yeah, word got out. Yeah. Word got out a word little too soon. said, wow, the Bush Light guy is going to have free Bush Light at his, <laughs> at his reception. It's weird, actually. More people it's are. Shocking. More, yeah, right? We have more yes RSVPs than invites we sent out. Yeah, it's I, <laughs> just yeah. random cards coming in. Yeah. Yeah, we actually, for that reason, we put a password on our little mm. RSVP thing. It gets like a eight and a half by 11 sheet of that, the, like the line paper. It just says yes on it, <laughs> mailed to him in the mail. Yeah. I will be there in yeah. Green Crayon. <laughs> yep. And I'll take the chicken. Now, I think what's weird about, well, first of all, the amount of Snapchats and oh, stuff man. that yes. were sent to me and on people's stories from this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> infuriating I, okay so i was seeing the snapchats also and i and i was how weren't you losing your mind well i partially was but i was thinking about you during this time and i'm like you got to be feeling some sort of way right now <laughs> well it's like so Anne doesn't really ever get crazy tuned up ever you know because you know i drink enough for the both of us <laughs> and uh yeah. so when she does really let loose it's like she is the paparazzi to <laughs> <Yep>. herself <laughs> and her friends but to it's Aunt like yeah someone hired her to be the paparazzi for the party and it's just and the thing is is she doesn't even hold on something when she's recording long enough to really see what it is <laughs> so it's yeah. like she walks to a room and like just scans like super fast with snapchat and it's like a three second video and it's like well one i couldn't 
Are you on a speeding bullet train? <laughs> or are you in a... Where are you? Why did that look so blurry? Yeah. <laughs> but to Anne's credit, she does capture a lot of moments it, like in those times that no one else does, but you want to look back on. So if you ever need like a moment that you want to relive, just you just ask Anne. She's probably got the video. Yeah, and honestly... The, the bachelorette party thing came up on me so fast that I got done with work on Friday. And I was like, <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be doing something this weekend, too. Like, even if you don't have your bachelor party the same weekend, like, yeah. I feel like you're supposed to, like, fucking go to beat ups and <laughs> slam beers and wings and watch sports, yeah. you know? And I just didn't. I yeah. just didn't do anything this weekend. Yeah, but it's it's going to get busier though. Uh, this is kind of the calm before the storm cuz yeah. cuz uh is that where they get that? I think I that's think where that so. place comes yeah. from. Yeah. Cuz well, okay, so they left their car at my place cuz my wife drove whatever. So they got there and I said, "It's fucking boys turn now." I said, "You you the girls turns done. Well, it's guys uh, turn." Oh yeah. So like there's a stigma that guys are insane at their bachelor parties. Girls at bachelorette parties are way more crazy than us. A lot of wooing. Lots of wooing. <laughs> like the craziest thing we'll do is maybe drink too much beer and throw up. That is it. Well, or gamble like a thousand bucks. Or gamble a thousand bucks. Though. But that's that's like that's low key. That's right? like nothing. No, yeah. that's fucking <laughs> and we'll document maybe three two or three pictures or videos of I the will, whole yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't a second of this bachelorette party that wasn't recorded. <laughs> it's like you were there. It was like a movie. Yeah. <laughs> Quite literally, each night they go to the bar at nine and leave at whatever time, and it was like a five-hour movie yeah. on the snap sto- Snapchat. It was just... But then also, you have, like, you have probably, let's just say, five to ten of those girls on Snapchat so you're seeing yes. the same shit over yeah. and over and over again. The problem with Becca when she gets drunk and she wants to put stuff on her story, she forgets <laughs> where she put the first thing. So like it'll be part one is on Snapchat. Part two is on Instagram stories. And I'm just trying to piece all this together like a detective with the yarn. Yeah. It's like, what is actually going on over there? Yeah. Great way to get follows, though. You got to push them over yeah. the page. Part two on yeah. IG. <laughs> yeah. Head on over. Full video up on my YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> 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 there's one thing i know about water is that it should be wet and all i know is our podcast is presented by the wettest water how wet is land. it pretty moist we are yeah. the, we are the wettest podcasting <laughs> podcast <host laughs> out there. <laughs> it didn't roll off the tongue like it did in my head but yeah, we'll find it yeah a long we'll way it. we'll get there uh <laughs> wet water <laughs> cataclysmic springs all can be associated with ice mountain and that's why they're our favorite water to drink tell you what bachelor party's coming up ryan you better bet your bottom dollar that i'm gonna have a whole case of ice mountains just primed and ready for me i gonna check a whole bag of ice mountains yeah i'm actually <laughs> uh, yeah Hey, you'd be like, wow, you brought two things of golf clubs? Nope. Hard case full of water. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire someone to bring an IV, and I'm going to be like, no, 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 I don't need any of the IV solution. Just dump this in there and yeah. pump it right into my veins. Yeah. You bring the water, I'll bring the herbal cigs. <laughs> yeah. Nothing goes down easier than an herbal cigarette yeah. and an ice mountain. I can tell you that much. We'll be at the bar before you guys even wake up. Yeah. You know how cool I'd look right now if I just had like a herbal cigarette in my hand with a. Oh, it'd be great. One in your hand, water. one in your lip. Yep. Double and then fist one in your ear mountains. too. Yep. And then a whole pack in my pocket too. How about? Of course. Um, <laughs> front shirt pocket. Regardless of what activities you're up to, you got to be hydrating. You got to be rehydrating with Ice Mountain. I honestly cannot think of a scenario where Ice Mountain doesn't is inappropriate for. Yeah, I mean, name should, name one thing you can't have an Ice Mountain. It's at. basically everyone knows that water is life bringing. So, basically, if you want to live, you have to drink Ice Mountain. Uh, legally, we have to say that that is not a threat. <laughs> no, no. Like, do you want to die or do you want to live? Because if you want to live, then you have to drink Ice Mountain. I want to live. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you, ain't uh, living. you know, I don't have science to back that up yet, but 
It's common. Well, I mean, you can. What do they say? You can only go three days without Ice Mountain. That's what Something they like say. Yeah, two yeah. full yeah. days without Ice Mountain. Yeah, they. Uh, you know. You'll I think it. I think this summer I might go ice mountain skiing. <laughs> How's that sound? Good. <laughs> yeah. Also, you have two bottles. You know, you get lost in the woods and no shoes. You just bust them, open, <laughs> throw them underneath your feet, and you got you got ice mountain shoes. Keep the feet nice and cool <laughs> in the lake. Yeah. Well, yeah, and like zebra mussels also will cut your feet. So yeah. put a bottle, put, ice, a, put yep. a bottle of ice mountain <laughs> underneath your feet. Then you got ice mountain shoes. <laughs> Um, we'll find it. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> All you guys need to know is that this this water's old, and what I mean is there was a cataclysmic event happened around roughly eight to twelve thousand years ago. Melted the ice cap, filled up in the natural springs of Michigan. Bada boom, bada bang. You're literally drinking history. So, I mean, how many other things can we bring up? to entice you to just live. Yeah, I mean you like drink. you like to read history, try drinking history. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So next time your uh Uncle Dave says, Hey, let's go uh water skiing, go, no no no. I don't water ski. I ice mountain ski. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, so wet. The uh, one thing that Ann did get on on Saturday, so they went Friday, Saturday. <laughs> She got the one of the gals paid for a nurse to come to the room and give them IVs in their room. Ah, that's a no big shit. Time move. That I think is a thing. First of all, they're very expensive right now, but I think if we all keep buying IVs, like real IVs, I think we might be able to drive the price down and become more of a commodity and it'll just make us all feel really good. Yeah, I'm in. I mean, it's to say nine guys, three nights. That's 27 IVs and 27 IVs total, right? Like for the bachelor party. Yeah. So we get three 27 IVs. Have, have you guys ever done the IV thing? Yeah, when we did at Waste party? Management last year. I didn't do it with you, but I did oh, it at, yeah, yeah. at the Got Myrtle. It, it was great. I actually, I didn't know what was entering my body and I was just like, <laughs> kind of let Jesus take the needle at that point. Yeah. And I, 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 they didn't even tell me the price before I got. I think it ended up being like seventy five bucks, and I'm like, well, I'm I'm hooked up already, so I, I guess I'll pay you. <laughs> I, I did it months. at a golf tournament in Myrtle Beach. It's a game changer. It actually oh, does yeah, affect great. you. Yeah, and I actually like I was super energized and like mm -hmm. yeah. Did you guys think it wasn't going to affect you? Well, I didn't know if like I had no idea what was going to happen. I didn't know literally the first thing you do when you get to the hospital when you have illness is they stick an IV in your arm. But I didn't know it was going to be like the taken drug for a, a hangover. Like I was hung over. I get this IV. I'm back to square one step better. Yeah. In like I told in you guys seconds. that being hung over, most of it is just dehydration. Yeah. And I, I was dialed in, man. That's Wor it's, worth every penny. Yes. I just don't know why it's taken us so long to, to normalize getting IVs. I don't know. Maybe it's like some stigma, like the old guys, like I don't need medicine. I just got, I got a cup of coffee and I'm good to go. Yeah, I don't have a brain. It's just air in there. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm have got a headache. No, I don't have a head. <laughs> it's got an ache. Can't get hung over when you've been drinking for the last 37 years straight. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like. I don't know. There's there's an, like an absurd amount of oxygen bars and shit like that, right? Way more than than a guy would think. There's got to be IV bars somewhere. Well, I think there's also yeah. like a embarrassment thing and like, ah, fuck, I got drunk again. I need an IV. <laughs> I think that's fine. Whereas like oxygen bars are like for athletic performance. Sure. Recovery. Yeah. You know, whereas it's like. Explain to me what an oxygen bar is. Um, I think it's just like higher levels of oxygen in the air there wait so it like you put i'm pretty sure you put a mask over you yeah, put and you, it's like the same thing that they have on the yeah. sideline of whatever gotcha i have no idea because i was picturing like a hookah bar where you're just like taking rips of oxygen that's not a bad idea <laughs> that that's yeah it's actually fantastic or like yeah a, why can't so okay so here's a great idea they've made Non-alcoholic beer. So even if you don't want to drink beer, you can look sick while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Why haven't they done like, why can't you just like smoke something that looks like you're smoking a cigarette, but it's just nothing. 
Why can't we? I know have... something you can smoke that's not a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't look like a cigarette, though. Yeah. Some states. What I mean is, like, it, it offers no impalement on you, but you just want to look fucking sick. You could just, like, you know, you got to. You're, you're ripping a, a bong of just nothing just to, <laughs> just to look sick. Just to hear yeah. the noise. Yeah. yeah. Like, why can't we just like bubble like herbal tea, you know? Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. So I've seen like behind the scenes movie stuff, like the cigarettes, they chain smoke in like 40s movies. Yeah. It's all just like a random mix of herbs. Well, they sh- could just sell those. I would definitely be smoking that right now on the podcast. <laughs> if I Jer- they, they, okay. They have to have something like that you'd think there's got it like when are they gonna get the- when are they gonna get like thc free weed well uh, i think it'd be like cbd wouldn't it because you can get like cbd flour yeah but again then you're you're then you're smoking cbd which like yeah hey, i don't want to i'm really trying not to divulge how much knowledge i have on this subject yeah what <laughs> tell us all of your knowledge on paraphernalia and and drugs they have it they have that there we go is it called ecstasy there we go Herbal That's si- something her- else, Miles. Herbal cigs. I'm gonna. I'm such an herbal cigarette guy now. <laughs> well, I might start smoking them just so I can get fifteen, like two fifteen minute breaks at work here. Go yeah, outside, go, <laughs> go outside, rip a cig. <laughs> Fucking me too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Then we have to create a designated smoking area. We don't even have. Well, one. so can I smoke that inside? Like, can you smoke these Miles, at the bar? You're the boss. You can. No, I mean, oh. like, if I went, took this to the bar, could I, chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> There's a chocolate cigarette. Chocolate strawberry. You know what? Tobacco free, nicotine free, and additive free. What's in it? Just chocolate. <laughs> Herbal yeah, smokes. Yeah, you're just smoking chocolate. Jared, we gotta <laughs> buy these. Strawberry. Also, I love how it's chocolate, strawberry, and just blue. <laughs> <laughs> what flavor is blue? They couldn't come up with anything similar enough, so they just named it after the color. There's a green and yellow one right below it, too. What, uh, Like lemon and, and yeah, That one's getting him excited. He's a winter green guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's got to be winter Menthol green. Menthol and vanilla. Menthol and so vanilla. I'm s- go to the reviews on this. So this is called Honey Rose uh, Herbal Cigarettes. Not a sponsor uh, yet. Um, I'm already paying out the nose for nicotine patches. Honey rose tastes good. Once a person gets over the f- first non-tobacco stick, that's the idea. I can buy herbal sticks for half the cost. Let's start. So a lot of these are probably rec- people trying to yeah, trying to kick the nicotine. The, the or oral fixation, yeah. just getting that out of the way. Yeah. So I'm not seeing a lot of reviews saying that I smoke them to look cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or I that would, I smoke them inside. I, I would like more people to be like, I look really sick and dope when I smoke <laughs> these. That's why I do it. Because that would be my reason. Uh, that one with the one star, he said, I even got all three flavors and they all stank. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, if you for like, me, it's a, <laughs> for, for me, yeah. for him. But he said, like I said, if you like them, good for you. I and like that. one star review. Yeah. I am imagine that that guy also <laughs> likes smoking weed. That last Probably. comment is definitely I am a pothead. Yep. <laughs> like yep. I said, if you like them, good for you, man. <laughs> Go ahead, smoke them up. They're herbal sticks. They're not even cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> would rather me, drink but- out of a puddle than smoke <laughs> this again. We got to try them. Yeah, we do. Honey Rose Herbal Cigarettes. Can we do a whole Sigs Inside episode? But they're not cigarettes. Yeah, they're herbal cigarettes. That's still a cig. Yeah, yeah we'll call them cigs. I gotta know what that chocolate one tastes like. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm that gonna go game changer. Chocolate? Jared, why don't you plug your card information in here? We'll <laughs> yeah. just the say pl- it out loud and so we can type it <laughs> yeah. in here. Are that's, we- so that's damn near like that's uh that's like twelve fifty a pack. Thirteen bucks a pack. Yeah. Thirty seven ninety five. Yeah, but that's the price you pay. Can you really put a price on looking cool? <laughs> <laughs> Not no. really in my book. No. This depends this on is... whose book you're reading. I mean, people are buying Air Jordans and Gucci bags. I mean. Well, one of Ryan's favorite shows, they... Nip Tuck. Yeah. It's all about spending money to yeah. look good. Yeah. Thousands and thousands of dollars to look sick. For 12 bucks, you can look really, really cool. Herbal cigarettes. So what is the herbal side, though? I, I feel like. Yeah, what are the ingredients? It's just like peppery. No, what's the poopery? 
<laughs> what? That'd be so gross. Uh, they're made from natural ingredients such as fruit juices and honey. Wow. Oh. I mean, you want to go rip a honey stick? So, I mean, they've been used successfully for more than 40 years. So, I mean, honey rose is not. So when you're smoking it, though, like you still get smoke. I would assume. Yeah. Because like you, the you smoke's gotta. the bad part, though, right? We at least we got to get them and try them. Okay. I don't know if we should smoke them in here, Miles, because you are directly below the. That's not how that works. Where's the? No, that's fire. That's heat. That's, that's yeah, that's heat. heat. Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. So there's a little thing, and if it like melts or whatever, then the sprinkler goes out. So you mm. thought that was you thought that was a smoke <laughs> alarm? I thought, I, I, thought, I thought smoke set those things off. You've never seen in a movie where like the smoke hits the sprinkler and then it goes off. Well, probably from a fire that's that's radiating heat that's rising. I, I swear, in movies, smoke Tyler hits also those thinks that when I press the nut button, someone actually nuts. Yeah. No, that's true. <laughs> well, and they probably someone around the world is nut. Yeah, yeah. someone around the Somebody world. Somebody nutted is. is both times when you when you did that. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> that is true. Uh, no, you learned that too late in life, Tyler. I did. Yeah, embarrassingly late in life. <laughs> um, so how did we get there? Great question. Um, cool bachelor party. Oh, oxygen. Bar. All I want to be yeah. doing right now is I want to be hungover, getting an <laughs> IV, and smoking an herbal cigarette. <laughs> I mean that that's what I should have been doing. Well, Anne was on her bachelorette party, but no, I just watched the waste management open. <laughs> That's cool, Miles. <laughs> Not at B Dubs. Would have been yeah. cooler if you washed it with an herbal cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, does the smoke, like, make everything smell similar to regular? I don't know. It probably smells good if it's chocolate and honey. We got to get one of them. It's like someone comes in like, ah, fuck, we doing fondue or what's going on? Yeah. Chocolate fondue? Yeah, what do you got in the, uh, the what do you got in the vaporizer? What's, or what's the? Diffuser. Diffuser. Yeah. What do you got in the diffuser today? <laughs> chocolate smelling? <laughs> chocolate herbal cigarette. Yeah. We got to get one of them long Cruella Deville, uh, yeah, deal, the wooden deals. Where you stick it on the end. There you go. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll get some in. I mean, what did you guys do on their bachelorette weekend? I, had, I well, th- what you just said about watching waste. I did the same exact thing. I no, but like your wife's. Oh, uh, oof, that was uh, three and a half years ago. Fuck, I think I just got together with my buddies. Probably, mm-hmm. I had no kids at the time, so I'm assuming we went golfing. That was also the other thing is Ryan's got a kid. My buddy Russ got a kid. And I was like, they're definitely watching their kids. So I don't even know if I want to deal with the kids this weekend. <laughs> so I'm not even going to reach out. I think out. you made the right move. When's the next time you're going to have a weekend to yourself? I, it's going to be a while. So I think you did the right thing. Yeah. And then I also, like, was I right, though? Got the kid. The whole weekend, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I had the kid I all weekend. Like, I, I did go. Know. I did go over to Russ's house for a little oh while, my though. God, <laughs> I mean, fucking dad's at home doing nothing. <laughs> fucking daddy daycare. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're both standing there playing wee bowling with their kid <laughs> on their chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like if his wife's out of town, my wife's out of town, we might as well get you know mm-hmm. get the little little rugrats fucking together. Fucking runts. <laughs> <laughs> well, but no, I didn't do it. I didn't do a goddamn thing. I watched a golf tournament and. No, I'm not asking what you did this weekend. I'm asking what you did on your bachelorette. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I don't. I don't remember. Probably got fucked up. <laughs> so no, I mean more than likely. Watch my kids. Oh yeah, I forgot you did it completely. Yep. Ass backwards. I did. And that's okay though. Yep. Yep. I actually think that might have been my first weekend alone with both of them. Were you a little scared? Oh yeah, they're fucking monsters. Okay. Well, you weren't supposed to be like that like vulnerable about it you're supposed to like i was supposed to pry at it a little bit sorry uh no dude i okay can, i, I can guess do we're it. doing therapy now how did it make you feel to um, have to watch your kids well honestly it was a mixture of fear and determination because i wanted to prove that dads can do that too and why did uh, you but f- also I was why worried. did you feel that the need to prove dads can do it too because there's a stereotype in the world that dads are not as good at caregivers as moms and i wanted to take that stereotype and absolutely smash it but well, i was also nervous that if i didn't do it right then it would just perpetuate that stereotype mm-hmm, and make mm-hmm. it even worse for the other dads out there now do you think that that's a real stereotype 
or are you projecting your own feelings onto the world? I think the world via the internet is projecting that stereotype onto me. Mm. Now, do you think that that is the actual internet or is that your search history? Mm. <laughs> um, not so much. This, I think it's my algorithm. Mm. via listening to me it reads my thoughts so it knows to put that yeah, on my feet yeah no i totally get it um <laughs> why do you think your algorithm looks like that probably because i i send a lot of parenting videos to my significant other now question are you overcompensating by sending parenting videos so your entire algorithm isn't just girls twerking <laughs> <laughs> if I plead the fifth. Here we go. We got him. <laughs> Arrest him. Get him in here. It wasn't therapy. That was an interrogation, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Dead yep. to rights. Somehow it's not working on Safety Instagram awesome. though. <laughs> no, Ryan and I have the. the well, I won't. I won't divulge that. Never mind. Oh, please do divulge. No, we have the best scapegoat. We got. We keep our regular TikToks clean and the breakfast balls TikToks where all the smut is. Oh no, that's god. Jake, dude. Yeah, probably. Jake's behind it. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys. That's company property. Yeah, that's our phone. You guys can't yeah, tell Jake def- that. You can't be defacing company property like property like that. <laughs> yeah. Now I have to do a full fledged investigation on the breakfast ball TikTok. <laughs> Let me get a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> for for HR purposes, so I know how to discipline you guys. Yeah, I just is there it, a lot of discipline on that page? Right. I mean, just go to the favorites tab, and that's where you'll find most of it. Okay. Wow, you guys have been saving the disciplinary. Yeah. Well, yeah, videos? we find that it doesn't it doesn't affect our personal algorithms. A lot of detention. <laughs> A lot of detention at school videos. <laughs> yeah, it's got to affect the personal because they're both. It's both like kind of. I have that theory too. Yeah, it has I don't to. know. They say that there's separation <laughs> between church and state. Yeah, I mean, Jake's been screwing the whole alg- algorithm up. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get golf ideas, and here's Jake. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. just freaking <laughs> screenshot anything yeah. with a pulse and a big ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's what you guys are talking about? <laughs> yeah, Jake. Oh. <laughs> so he's the one you need to invest yeah, in. Yeah, seriously. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Miles, you have like daily algorithm reviews. In <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what you guys, let's, let me see the filth. What have you guys been up to? And then by the end, we're just like, we're just scrolling, being like, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! You get to I act- did it again. Get to an actual. These apps are really addictive. All right, uh, <laughs> let's just forget about everything we just watched. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. You get to an actual golf video and you swipe as fast <laughs> as possible. Oh fuck, that guy's boring. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hit it really close to the pin. <laughs> oh, another trick shot, Jesus. That's that's some you good, guys. That's some good stuff. <laughs> you guys. You're gonna make me to drive me to smoke actual cigarettes. I'm stress <laughs> you guys are giving me. Yeah, I feel like the honey rose is a slippery slope because then you're like, God, you know, what if there's just some nicotine in here? Like, how good would that taste? I think you just throw some velos in while you're smoking the honey rose, <laughs> 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 or just buy the bag of tobacco and just like just put a light mixture mm-hmm. in there. Corn cob pipe. Yeah, you could do like. You could do like uh, like when you're in the people are in the hospital and they're like they like can't drink so they just do ice chips on your lips. Oh yeah, yeah. Just sprinkle some some uh, tobacco on your just your lips. Do some ice chips or like, tobacco version. Like hockey players they'll cut the webbings of their toes and throw. Chew. That's absurd. Yeah. Although I would at least like to feel the sensation one time. I feel like that's got to burn I mean, like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. But, like, what are they- but it's the classic uh, Hurts So Good. Yeah. <laughs> they did a whole song about it. <laughs> that's what that Come song's on. about? Come on, baby. <laughs> Make it so hurt so good. good. That's about <laughs> hockey players <laughs> sticking tobacco between their toes. I just can't imagine like getting a paper cut in between my toes. You got to throw away every pair of socks you ever play hockey. Yeah, yeah. but Kurt paper Schilling. cuts hurt yeah. worse because you don't see them coming. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. It's just It's more of the shock factor. Yeah. Your your fucking buddies on the team are sitting next to you. They throw a towel in your mouth, just like, all right, bite down. It's only gonna hurt for a second. <laughs> Jesus, what? <laughs> well, because 
what I meant was their, <laughs> their their teammates are the ones cutting their cutting in between their oh, toes. So okay. they're like bite down on this so it doesn't hurt as bad. I don't know. I've like heard, the jaws are size. I've heard that be used in a different context. Usually a pillow. <laughs> Is that on your algorithm too, Tyler? <laughs> I gotta do a full fledged investigation. <laughs> Get a full audit coming up. I'm gonna call it Operation Skeevy Pervs. <laughs> it only take a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah All your- right, <laughs> hand over the phone. I want to do this alone, yeah. privately. Okay, hand over the password. Get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what's your password? I'm actually need to log in on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you need your phone for work. I'll log in on mine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's always a, that's a classic. You get one like video on your feed of a guy do putting up drywall. And then yeah. you, you you know like oh god look what's always on my feed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you're like talking into the phone like I love drywall and DIY videos. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful with those those three letter acronyms though because that that's true. away from you. <laughs> I love POV <laughs> construction videos. Yeah. I love seeing how they swing a hammer with their hand. <laughs> That's still <laughs> POV jackhammer. <laughs> Talk about man, construction's those... kind of dirty. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, pounding, nailing, cocking, <laughs> <laughs> jackhammering. <laughs> yeah. Dump trucks. I mean, wow. Filling cracks. Yeah. <laughs> Filling cracks. I mean, you're working with wood all day. All day. Did you say screwing them? No, I said nailing them. Same church. And same pew. <laughs> yeah. I mean, plumber talk too. It's like, yeah. A lot of pipe, a lot of wood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tongue and groove. Another Interior good one. design. Tongue yep. in groove. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> tongue. So that's where they get that. Yeah, from. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they misheard you when they were using it. Time out. Is construction the dirtiest, maybe profession? I. We should ask Mike Rowe. <laughs> yeah. Time out. I would love to see Mike Rowe's feed. What his algorithm looks yeah, like? They know really he, dirty. They know he loves lot dirty of jobs. drilling, lot of hammering. <laughs> Lot uh, of laying pipe, you know. I mean, like, that's what dirty jobs all about. Yeah, yeah. Digging the holes. first tix- TikTok feed was actually just that, just a reruns of dirty jobs. <laughs> yeah, filling dirt holes. Okay, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, no, I think I had a good weekend. It's nice and relaxed. Pretty, uh, pretty chill. I I washed some towels this weekend. Wow. I think I like washing towels the most out of any laundry. Is it because they're the easiest to fold? It's because you don't got to put them on a hanger. But also, we could have easily put towels on hangers. Yeah, it's probably the easiest piece of laundry to put on a hanger. Yeah. Well, I mean, they a were spaghetti, a spaghetti top, whatever with spaghetti easy. strap. Yeah. Pretty. That's maybe the easiest. You got a lot of spaghetti strap shirts you hang. <laughs> no, but I tell you that's what, a, you, I Ann's got a lot of them. Spaghetti straps. Um, spaghetti strap. I just think that folding towels. I think it's like the you only do one. Th- you know, every towel is going to get folded the same way. You throw a bunch of clothes laundry down. You got underwear, socks, pants. Shorts, even spaghetti straps. You got spaghetti <laughs> straps, the absolute spaghetti mess. Where are you supposed to put straps at? You got inside sweatshirts, outside? you got polos, and it's like phew, can't keep all this shit straight. <laughs> so then it just sits there on the ground for three weeks because they're not towels. <laughs> I, I, I don't mind folding towels, I'll fold towels all day. I ain't folding, I ain't folding underwear. Do you guys fold underwear? No. 
I feel I like do. the world is split up into two people. I feel like there's people who fold their underwear and people who just bunch them all up together and throw them in a little drawer. Bingo. That's can, what you do? Mm -hmm. That's how you do? What? You fold them or just bunch them up? Well, they mostly just don't make it to the closet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. I, uh... I fold mine twice. I fold them like uh, what hot dog Scott style and then hamburger style. Mm. But after I do that, there's no like specific organization in the underwear drawer. I just like I just I just throw them in there. And that's the reason I stopped folding mine. I used to, and then I'd throw them in there folded, and they would just end up in a bald mess anyway. Yeah. So, and that's who cares if your underwear are wrinkly? Yeah, I mean, know? no one's seen those anyway. Yeah. Here's a question for you guys: mm. Do you guys have a favorite pair of underwear? Yep wearing them yeah i i have a favorite pair which i have like you know three or four different colors what in qualifies a favorite pair of underwear for you is so, it an emotional attachment is it a color is it a fabric fabric see, for see, me yeah i've had i've had boxers that have like the waistband has like given out on me so it's like a it's like a bacon neck for your box yeah, yeah, yeah. yep. those suck and those ones they start like boxer briefs, but at the end of the day, yep. they're just regular boxers. Yep. Oh God, that is that might be that's the quickest way to make it to the bottom of the underwear drawer and mm -hmm. never get picked again. <laughs> yeah, is if I wear you for a full day and I take off my pants and it's just fucking, it looks like I'm wearing a, <laughs> wearing a dress on either one of my thighs yeah. by yeah. the end of the day, and it's just loosey goosey. Yeah, I need I need you to keep your form all day long. Yep. Yeah, that's why I'm a, I'm a, I'm or, like a, or once in a while I throw it to Ann, like, Ann, look how much weight I lost today. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, psychological. Spin zone. Yeah. Mentally, yeah. I'm fit. <laughs> Mentally, my thighs just toned up all throughout the day. Yeah. You, and then you flex the, flex the quads yeah, a little bit. Mm. You can see, you see a little overhang on them. Yeah. 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 I've but, been getting really good at throwing boxers away. <sighs> How, I mean, really? I have What's yeah. it take? Yeah. What's it take to get there? Well, I, I, know, I, I mean, I don't want to say it, but I might still have you know tidy whities from when I was like ten. Well, I, I also have some good boxers that have whole, that you threw uh, all those away because they had skid marks. <laughs> <laughs> I kept all the brown ones. Can't see them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. I do have boxers that. Um, that are old mm -hmm. put it that way, but, and there's holes in them and shit, but they're so nice still that I just can't throw those away. It's the bacon neck ones that I'm fucking out with. However, in order to throw some, something away, I have to go buy something new. Otherwise the boxer drawer is not full. You got so many fucking rules about your underwear. <laughs> no, it's just mentally. That's how it works. Like it's going to sit at the bottom of my drawer until I go buy something new to replace it with. Because for some odd reason, so do I you actually to... buy underwear? I haven't personally I do, yeah. bought underwear Not in frequently, years. But like, I get them as like Becca gets me underwear for Christmas, like that. I don't buy underwear ever. So you get windshield wipers and undies, correct? Every from Christmas. two different people, but yes. <laughs> Tell Damn. me that you're an adult without telling me you're an adult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're always good underwear though. Yeah, I go through phases, right? I'll I'll think that these new pair of underwear, the bees knees, and I'll buy like eight pairs, and then that'll be my thing for a few years, and then some new technology that mm. keeps your balls cool or yeah. the know, the nut sack liner, yeah, or just yeah, anything like that. And then you're like, I mean, how the fuck weren't we doing this since you know? Jesus walked around. We should be. Yeah. The, I mean, I suppose Jesus didn't wear underwear. He just had the long robes. But yeah, yeah sure. He was sure cocking it. When are we gonna go? All day, every day. You know, they say that fashion goes in circles, right? <laughs> okay. We've, we've pretty much gone in circles. Most. <laughs> the robes have never come back. No, at least for Americans. Yeah. So when is that gonna happen? Because I actually think I'm on board with all of us wearing robes. Like, you know, like relaxing robes are. <laughs> I yeah yeah you have one yeah yeah like uh, like a bathrobe man they're just shoulders down to the ankles and you didn't have to wear anything underneath <laughs> and you're just 
it's just free flowing. Like, I can't get, I couldn't get caught. Because what if you want to then lay on the couch? Then I mean, you stand your, up. Your ass is hanging. You got like a leather couch. So. No, it's not like a cocktail <laughs> dress size. Yeah, it goes down to your ankle. No, I get that, but it's still like, no, it, like it's a big. S- your commando, and you sit down on the couch, you stand up, and you just got the biggest wedgie ever. And it's like <laughs> yeah. pulling your shoulders back because it's so tight in there. Yeah. Well, there's like an old fan theory that no one in Harry Potter wears pants. They're just all pantsless under those robes. <laughs> I mean, that's I, that's a world I'd like to try out. Yeah, I think I I think I'd like to be sitting there in my robe, commando, with an IV in my arm, smoking a herbal cigarette. <laughs> the only problem with the robe situation, if you're going commando, you can literally never trust a fart on the off chance. Well, it depends on how many layers of robes you got, you know? You got some real thick ones? You got ones? on like a slip underneath or what? <laughs> a slip. Isn't See, that, that just... No, yeah. they uh, like women wear under dresses yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 it's got a slip. Hey, we'd, we'd have a male slip, it's I think. It's a slip okay. Yeah. Just in case what, you know, slip out a fart and it happens to be a poop. <laughs> that is that why they're called slips? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get on board with... Uh, the tying it in front. You don't tie it. No, this oh, is like a, this is like a pullover robe. So that it's so it doesn't like, separate you, down the middle. Did you graduate from any school? Yes. You'd be like wearing that all the like time. the graduation robe. Don't uh, like a gown like you wear. You well, aren't like robes a, cut all the way down the middle? Some. You you put them on like a, you would a jacket. Some of them, yeah. I thought that was the only type of. I didn't know there was. Oh, you're thinking like bathrobe. You're thinking like yeah, yeah. the big Lebowski robe. Yeah, what yeah. kind of fucking robes are you guys talking about? We're like talking Jesus robes, like yeah, oh. like biblical robes. That, well, that's why I'm saying like God, yeah. if, if you try like if you're getting snuggled up on the couch, I just whatever. I think it would be easy to wake up and be like, Ugh, what should I wear today? Should I wear the cream one or the light <laughs> tan one? <laughs> And they're like, ah, fuck! I'll go light tan today. It's it's gonna be a hot one out there. <laughs> yes, yeah, like that guy. He's got to be careful when he bends down like that. Well, if, if you just get a brown robe like that guy, you're good to go. <laughs> I can't believe that's your guys' first instinct when you hear about a robe. Is what happens if I shart? <laughs> oh, I mean, it's it, it, it is a it, valid question, yeah. especially after it, the Super Bowl. Yeah, they're they're you're gonna have some issues. Like this is the one piece of wardrobe that's never came back and back into style. I mean, yeah. m- monks wear robes. True, that's it true. never went out of style for them. No, <laughs> uh, they don't have to make any decisions. Priests, I'm, priests wear robes. Religious figures in general, robes never died. <laughs> that is true. I wonder why. A lot of psychology going on. Yeah. Go back up, Jared. I think I'm gonna get me and Ann that for next Halloween on the far left. <laughs> Adam and Eve costume. <laughs> is it Eve's just- over the junk. With a with a snake around my neck. <laughs> Hold on. Save that, Jared. Put that in your Amazon order with the uh, yeah. herbal six. <laughs> Put nipples on them. Yeah. Oh it's my just, god. It's like the Batman suit nipples. Where do you gotta be? In, where do you gotta be in life to be a model for Spirit Halloween? <laughs> yeah. It's down question. bad. <laughs> I would like to try it at least. You know what? Hey, I'm gonna start a new line of plus sized male Halloween costumes. Cause that deer costume that I've been fucking wearing on the videos, <laughs> old tight. <laughs> it's also gives me a bit of it, a little bit of a moose knuckle as well. <laughs> and so if we had some plus what size costume. costumes, that yeah. would be nice. We're talking a big buck. Really? <laughs> this is exactly why your skinny ass doesn't get to be a part of it. You're constantly just <laughs> degrading guys like me. You think it's a joke? Yeah, yeah no. Oh, yeah, you think it's a joke? I do. Yeah, it's got a kind of funny joke actually. All right, we're gonna take a break. What I'm saying is the plus, <laughs> uh, the plus side. I mean, if you we're call taking it- a break, <laughs> Ryan, do you like shooting guns? Love it. Uh, you should probably go to Mossberg.com then, and uh, get yourself one. Yeah, the only thing I need to complete. The MC2 is the the, the red dot, the I think, laser sight. Uh, yeah, we. I need a laser now. Yeah, I know. I have a laser. You have a red dot. So we need to combine the two. Yes. And we'd have the we'd have. They the say most two elite. guns are better than one. Correct. <laughs> Do they say that? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I think so. I've been watching a lot of The Last of Us. 
um, sort of a zombie type show on HBO, and I've really been looking heavy into the same shotgun you have, Miles. I, I got a gun for that, yeah. right? and it's a Mossberg, and the fucker is straight. The ZMB series, maybe short for zombie, you tell me. <laughs> is, that, is that actually yeah. ZMB? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Those we, guys just yeah. get it over at Mossberg. <laughs> they they get just it get it. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Moss. <laughs> yeah. Moss and Berg. <laughs> Those two guys. Good, good They've been guy. doing it for over 100 fucking years, too. They got to figure it out. Mm-hmm. You Do you have a pistol, Tyler? Mm-mm. We got to get you one. Yeah, he went with the deer rifle instead. Yep, I got a rifle. We got to get you one. I got to call up Moss. <laughs> See uh, if him and Berg can make it happen. <laughs> will you call Moss for me, Ryan? You call Berg for me? Sure. Yeah, yeah we'll get him we'll, on speaker. We'll do good cop, bad cop. Okay. Yeah. We'll each go bad cop at both of them to start, and yeah. then we'll hand the phone off, and then we'll both go good cop. Yeah, well, no, uh, we'll be talking to Moss, and then he'll be like, well, yeah, just go ask Berg, and then we'll talk to Berg, and then, ah, go ask Moss. Yeah, on the flip side, they're doing good cop, bad cop yeah. to you guys. Yeah. It's a whole, every, I ain't going down for this. <laughs> but but you know, it'll be a good laugh by all had, you yeah. know, so. Good, yeah. good guys. Good, good guys. Moss and Berg over there <laughs> at Mossberg.com. Yeah. 100 plus years old, those two are. Yeah. Well, Just a bag of bones these days. <laughs> That's how old they are. Zombies? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> did zo- did Mossberg make an own their own zombie gun to deal with their own zombie threat? Tyler, I can't keep up. This is a lot of, <laughs> lot of zombie talk. Sorry, man. It's on the brain. Yeah. Well, hopefully not. Hey. Yeah, I hope to God not. Um, regardless, Ryan, we gotta get some. We gotta get some lasers. We gotta get some floodlights. Yeah, uh, yeah. I need to get an extended mag. Okay. That maybe holds sixty to seventy rounds. <laughs> <laughs> we also need to get silencers too. No, what I need to do is, uh, I need. Uh, to get an extended mag and then tape another mag to that, <laughs> so you can go like that and then flip it around. Yeah, you know? yeah. They should do it all the Rambo movies and stuff. Yep, yep. Silencer. Why too. I would need that many shots ever, I don't know, but I can think of one. Well, scenario. Just, like, just like smoking herbal cigarettes, it just looks cool. Yeah, yeah. What's the scenario, Tyler? Maybe zombies. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that is true. I'm so if you know. guys want to get ready for the zombie apocalypse, you got to go to Mossberg.com. Make sure you send a little hello to our buddies Moss and Berg. <laughs> and get yourself a zombie gun. All right, guys. Jared. Mm-hmm. Speaking of a sneak attack. Yeah, mm-hmm. big time. Uh, Ryan's shaking in his boots a little bit because he doesn't know what we're doing for this next segment. And let's just say he's not very good at thinking quickly. Yeah, he'll like this one. Um, it's, uh, what screams that I have a tiny dick? <laughs> tiny under. Uh, what, what I, I just scream. So <laughs> <laughs> I have a tiny dick. Cut that Jared. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be Miles a, a great intro sound music bite. at speaking events. <laughs> <laughs> no, what screams that I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I never said I did. That's I am screaming that though. <laughs> yeah, um, the, I mean, it was what screams. I have a tiny dick. The answer is Miles. Yeah, because he screamed it. <laughs> I screamed it. So I didn't for those of you who weren't following, that's that's what we're dealing with here. <laughs> um, no, probably whatever Ryan's wearing right now screams. <laughs> you bet you, you I mean, bet you merch. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the jogger pants. <laughs> What do you mean? With I the mean, legs crossed. I mean, so, uh, so he did get roasted for that exact thing I mean, on double. Bogey it's the com- I mean, it, it's the comfiest position out there to sit. I can't even sit like that. You want to see me? I just <laughs> there's a lot in the way. What's well, because what you're because you're wearing tight jeans too. No, I, it's there's a lot in the way. <clears throat> oh God, it hurts. Comfy. Mm, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so relaxed. <laughs> It's a good pose. Yeah, do this with your foot. Too. Yeah, see, you don't look bad. Yeah, yeah, you don't look bad sitting like that. No, not nor do I oh, think I God. look. No. The old uh, family jewels are all <laughs> mumbo jumbled now. Discombobulated. Yeah. 
So, okay, your mind goes right to my outfit, and then fucking Jake wears overalls in, and you he don't bring... Yeah, to sorry, a guy Jake. Who doesn't even have Jake, a microphone. Jake, that's second <laughs> deflection of the podcast, and you haven't said a word yet. <laughs> he can't. He doesn't have a mic. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's the best. <laughs> he can hear every word sorry, we're saying, Jake. but he can't say anything back. <laughs> yeah. Tyler, what do you think? I'll be named Jake. All right. Another good one. Yep. Um, I would I would say one thing that screams tiny dick syndrome <laughs> is we'll just uh, call it TDS. Okay, yeah. One thing that screams TDS is um when people are like rude to servers or waitresses or hmm. even it, like even if they're doing a decent job, but they're like super busy and the people are getting pissed off because their shit's behind or they screwed something up. But also on the flip side, Ryan. Being super overly cocky and arrogant and flirting with the waitress that is also TDS. I would agree with that. Mm-hmm. I would agree with that. And like, you know. Because like what's the line? When you the I like feel saying like- things like uh, just give me uh, whatever's the most expensive whiskey you got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I have fucking money. I got bags. <laughs> if you want to see all the cash. No, seriously, I got I got bags. I got a lot of Crown Royal bags at home. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I'm sick. I yeah, save everyone. I so save everyone. I'm gonna make a. My mom's gonna make me a blank. Blank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Both both scenarios. I mean, you could just go the obvious with you know the jacked up mm-hmm. truck, the loud car. Yeah. Um, that's another thing. I mean, can you hear like a loud jacked up truck and not say that guy's got a tiny dick? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think you can not no. say it. It's a little involuntary at this point. <laughs> right. It just happens. Well, the running it's like, it's like your heart pumping, your breathing. It's just it just happens. Yeah. Well, the running bit now in my household is it's not the engine making that noise. It's their dick dragging on the ground <laughs> as they get on the highway. That's a great one. Actually, <laughs> I'm going to start using that one. Take it. Jeez. You can uh, see the sparks flying up from that guy's dick. Dragging <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> Holy smokes. Uh, this might be a little controversial, but I think you, it's a big sign of TDS. If someone's talking about how much money they make selling trading cards <laughs> I'm sorry what you see the ice mountain bottom <laughs> here we gotta get it Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sit like that. No, I'll get that smaller model. <laughs> no, 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 just the cap. Yeah, yeah. There. <laughs> Audio visual. I, uh, we are so immature. <laughs> oh God. I mean, TDS. there goes another percent T- to the TDS female right listeners. Uh, Audio uh, visual. Buying or selling trading cards. I just I met a guy that would tell me about how he paid his down payment collecting baseball cards and selling them. Like you got the tiniest fucking dick, don't you? you I think tiny shrimp dick. I think I'd think about that uh, if it were like Pokemon cards. If you're if you're in like a mid twenties thirties man doing that with Pokemon cards, I'd probably say that. Especially if they get into like the business of it. Yeah. Like they're not a collector. Like they're really getting into the business of it and explaining it all. Oh, Miles, did you do this? At some no, point? I just, I think we know someone who does. Do we? Yeah. Who? Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> I, I genuinely really? wasn't describing him, but that is fucking funny. He literally talks about the, how fascinating it is that the. <laughs> <laughs> the, the company's really like cornered the market and won't let anyone else sell and sign exclusive <laughs> deals and shit. He's a he's a BNS Pokemon card guy, huh? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Buy and sell Pokemon. <laughs> Tiny dick. <laughs> TDS. <laughs> TDS to your BFE. Uh, what? <laughs> Why BNS? Why are you shortening that? He does it to everything. I is that yeah, that's not an industry that. thing? That's not an indus- industry. No, it is an industry thing. That's why I said it. But you, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just basically anytime you do something like that's totally unnecessary. Mm-hmm. I think, Jared, you got one. 
Uh, people that wear aff- affliction shirts. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not think of that? <laughs> yeah. Affliction, American fighter, tap like, out. Still, though, I think there was uh, an era where it was more accepted, but yeah. today well, it's not. Or like those big white sunglasses those oakley's <laughs> the oil rigs, rigs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i was gonna say gas cans but, but the uh, thing yeah. is, it, it might be is there's there. a lot of overlap jared because a lot of those guys got jacked up trucks yeah we're talking know? about one person yeah you could also like like the the monster flat brim where the very end of the flat brim is then like like folded up duck build up yeah it's yeah sick though i i think that should come back <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> That's good. Eliminating your eyebrows with a hat is also a good move, I guess. No, but it has to be backwards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have to be bald, too. Yep. Yeah, you can't have any hair. <laughs> uh, audio it's, visual. It, Miles it, did that. It's yeah. funny because there are people out there that will that do that. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> My dad did that for years until he realized how bad it looked. So you're saying that your dad has a tiny, dick. tiny dick. Apparently, it doesn't run in the family though. Oh yeah, I'm sure it's. Like I, I'm completely average. Okay, um, I googled it a lot of times. On top of the, uh, how do you, to- you guys feel about guys that do this with their hat and then also do the? <laughs> do you mean thing? everyone in school fucking- when I was in eighth grade? <laughs> Yeah, pack packing one up, packing uh, a big dipper. I have a mark on my name. kind of yeah, yeah. Yikes. Um, I would say I would say <laughs> you go ahead. Okay, I would say anyone who starts a podcast where it's just a bunch of guys sitting around <laughs> shooting the shit <laughs> is like a tiny dick gang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hate when people do that. Yeah. I feel like in 2023, yeah, but we we started this fucking oh, five yeah. five years ago. <laughs> TDS. No, that was He's that was defending his TDS. That was BDS back in 2018. <laughs> BDE. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Yeah, <laughs> or BDV, Big Dick Vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I think they sell those at certain shops. BD, BDE is big dick environment, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big big dick ecosystem. <laughs> BDs, yeah. That's no, just no, what we I'm got not... around here, you know? Just a bunch of alphas. Uh, there's a go. Anyone selling supplements? Mm-hmm. Anyone who is selling courses online is another yep. uh, tiny dick syndrome, as well as... About fifty percent of real estate agents and car salesmen. Anyone that we said fifty percent, not all of them. Yeah. yeah. Anyone that drank Mountain Dew in the year of two thousand nine to two thousand twelve, that'll shrink your dick. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. not even like a personality thing. That's just a fact. Yeah, that's science. <laughs> it's yellow five. Yep. So that's yeah, it's physical. Hmm. Hmm. Heard they fixed that though. Um, so I Mountain Dew is good. Someone who was <laughs> born that way. <laughs> Anyone with diagnosed micro penis? <laughs> that would also be a way to have a tiny dick syndrome. Mm-hmm. Guys, holidays gas stations is the best. Right now they have a snack attack going on. You guessed it, Ryan. It is back. It's a great deal on your favorite snacks. Snack attack is back at holiday. You sound like Dr. Seuss. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, a good reference. Speaking of doctor... Tyler, you got a sweet tooth? I do. <laughs> Stop by Holiday for a candy bar. All Mars and Hershey are B2G1, which is short for buy two, get one free. Mm, oh, okay. Well, okay. you know us. We're at we're sub 2K SQF <laughs> at Holiday. They're, they're big B2G1 free people over there. Hell yeah. Buy two, get one free. All Mars bars and Hershey's. They're not very far away. Brian. Hello. You see that Super Bowl commercial where the guy got his hand stuck in the Pringles jar? I did, yeah. They got Pringles, Cheez Its, and Keebler crackers for only two dollars two for two twenty. These guys and their deals. 
two for 222. Well, what do you expect during snack attack? It is a snack attack, and it's back at holiday. So if you guys want to maybe do a sneak attack on your snack attack. Ooh, oh, fuck. Don't pass gas. Turn on into the holiday gas station. <laughs> you go up with like a frozen pizza and you're like, well, this is a snack to me. So can, <laughs> yeah. I, can I get the deal or not? That's what that's one of my favorite things to do with Adam. She makes me dinner. It's great. I eat it all. I'm pretty full. But then just going, so what are we having for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Gets great. a laugh about a quarter of the time. Great bit by you. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Uh, that was actually great you reading right off of the sheet yeah because you never a great deal on your favorite snack (laughs) you got a sweet tooth b2g1 free (laughs) that's what it said i know i know i know (laughs) so i mean i think that's a pretty good extensive list um do you guys have any other ones not off the tip, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking, we shafted seg- that segment. Yeah, yeah there's really like no. The low- segment's been kind of long and hard to do. <laughs> there's really like no low hanging fruit for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm on the board. Oh, early. Yeah. I'm on the board early. You see that? <laughs> All of us I'm thinking of are just dirty, and you can't make a pun out of it. Yeah. It was good for us to do this, though. We all kind of got skin in the game. <laughs> what do you guys? What do you guys yell on the golf course? Or <laughs> you able to play skins this yeah. weekend? <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite? Way? Every time I'm playing skins, I hit a bad shot. And I got to yell four. <laughs> we found it. <sighs> you should cut that short, though. Maybe like right around a birth. Jesus, Tyler. That's, it's I mean, that far. is, that is, yeah. I'll yeah. get you a TD. <laughs> <laughs> you got another question, Jared? Uh, yeah. Um, well, uh, what's something that t- tastes better burnt? <sighs> Becca's chicken. <laughs> Trust me, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, so you've gotten that and the dry chicken? Yeah. I suppose that would cause dry chicken. Mm-hmm. You can fix dry chicken with barbecue sauce. I mean, I would... I don't mind a burnt slice of pizza. Honestly. I don't I don't either. Does it taste better, though, than I just would rather pork? have a crispy, mildly burnt piece of um, pizza than, like, a soupy one mm. where the cheese isn't melted and the like hot the sauce on it's all over the place like i think i'd rather have it be a little more crisp than that yeah look kind of slimy on the bottom yeah um i'm a big time like burnt hot dog or brat guy mm, you so, like a little char yeah i'm trying to char that bitch so up. he likes no no <laughs> <laughs> he likes a good cookout yep uh, I like a burnt s'more. I was just gonna ask that. That's one like one of the more popular ones. Do people like? I don't. Okay, but so people you, like burnt s'mores. Do you like burnt s'mores or burnt marshmallows? <laughs> you are right. I like burnt marshmallows. Mm. Yeah. Because I mean, I don't know. I like. I've never stuck a, a graham cracker or a piece of chocolate in a fire. Burn the shit it, out of it. Really burn up, but burnt marshmallows. Oh are god, elite. that's so hilarious. <laughs> you really got me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not a burnt pizza it's the burnt crust <laughs> <laughs> fucking <Nice>. dick <laughs> you did get me. yeah i don't know why i came at you like that but it just it just felt it just felt right and you just felt like on the inside that you just got me too i mean this burnt cheese better <laughs> Than regular cheese, like you got to melt it and it's a little crispy. On the cheese turns brown on a pizza. That's when you know it's done. <laughs> cheese its yeah. That's just really burnt cheese. Pretty. Burnt. Hey, I also just learned of this like six months ago. What cheese its are cheese? Yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I didn't thought it was know, a cracker. Like I didn't know that until something. like until like a year ago as well. Did you guys know that tortilla chips are just fried tortillas? Mm-hmm. You never did, thought about I didn't that, know that did one. you? 
like a tortilla I mean, would, that you would get, right, right, eat right, a taco yeah. in. Yeah. They just fry them and then then they cut them into triangles. So or they cut them into triangles, then fry them. So a hard shell is just it's just a f- dry tortilla. No, it's a fried tortilla. Yeah. Burnt tortilla. Yeah. Fried. <laughs> what was the question again? Uh some that tastes better burnt. Uh, a drink. Uh, yeah, that that's, oh, a, that's good a good one. one. Yeah, Fuck, I wish I'd have thought of that. That was really, really yeah. good. Yeah, tell him to lean on it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like toast. I like toast a little burnt. Mm. Really? Yeah. Well, there's always that that photo that resurfaces about every three to six years on the internet that is the different levels of yep. toast burntness. Yeah, and people are very passionate about how burnt toast should be. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm actually if you go if it's one to five I'm kind of a two. Mm. Oh, no shit. Wow. Really lightly toasted. Just I'm, give me just a little fu- just a little fucking crisp. I'm about like three point five. I want the brown to be right on the edge of turning black. I like the toasty toast. Yeah. You like toast. Yeah. <laughs> well, you like doubly cooked bread. Is yes. What you like. that's, <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Did you know in the toaster it's not toastiness it's minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Groundhog's Day on this podcast. Mm-hmm. Straight hand go to space today. Yeah. <laughs> When's he going back? I'll let you know at 7 a.m. tomorrow. He morning. tried to. Government <laughs> shot him down over Lake Huron. Yeah. UFO. Jesus Christ. We talked about we can't spread fake news anymore, I, Tyler. I we didn't spread that. It's We're a real headline. Educational podcast anymore. Jesus. We're experimental. Speaking of that, we should do an experiment next week. <laughs> Jared's the teacher. Let's see if we can get addicted to those fake cigarettes. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. our experiment. Yeah. Yeah. How many cigs you got smoke? How many herbal cigs you got smoke to get addicted to real cigs? <laughs> <laughs> we do a clip of us smoking the herbal cigarettes. We just a flash on the screen. These are fake cigarettes yeah. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I do the like warning instead of it saying that smoking kills you. It just says. Surgeon these are General. not these are not real cigarettes. cigarettes. Warning: This product may look may make you look like a badass. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to fend off women with a stick. Yeah, warning: uh, They're all warning. throwing themselves at you while you smoke these. Warning: Make sure you bring your life raft and a life jacket because you might have to swim your way out. Warning: These cigarettes are the only cure to TDS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> warning: Your life may be in danger. <laughs> From all these milfs, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, so what? we we didn't answer that question at all. Kind of. Think we, we like burnt. listed off a shit. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, did. We <laughs> Foods you like better burnt s'mores. No marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> marshmallows. Oh God. <laughs> That fucking voice. <laughs> Burn the graham cracker? The chocolate or just the marshmallow? I fucking got you too. I fucking got him. That's why he's he's you doing the voice invitation. <laughs> That's <laughs> It's a great form of comeback when you've just it's a sure sign that you when won. you've just gotten yeah. burned. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what. Your employment at this company is toast. <laughs> how, well, how high though? One to five. Yeah, what do you mean? Five. Uh, All right. Well, guys, I think it's about that time. And uh, thank you for tuning in to another episode of You Betcha Radio. As always, go check out our Patreon episodes every single week, a whole nother episode at patreon.com slash you betcha radio. And, uh, Guys, may your TDS be cured <laughs> with herbal and your cigs. mallows be burnt. Hell yeah. Cheers, Ryan. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.